Chop Girl, touted as being Steve Martin's return to form after the horrors of Cheaper by the Dozen 2, based on a very mawkish novella, one would imagine. I haven't read the novel, but I've seen the film. About a girl working at Saks Fifth Avenue who is wooed, on the one hand, by a sort of stoner teenager character with no money and no hope and a bit smelly, and on the other hand, by a rich 50s businessman who's clearly got no intention of committing, he's got lots of money, but apparently no heart. Martin... Steve Martin wrote the script and stars as the 50-year-old rich guy with not much heart who gets basically to drool all over Claire Danes. Was I boring? No. Was I? A little bit. <laughs> well, okay. I don't think that you should come in. I I'm not asking to. Meaning? Meaning I'll see you again? Oh. Okay. I'll be out of town about a week, but would you like to have dinner on Friday? We could eat at my place. Okay. Unbelievably not a clip of Dawn of the Dead, but it's a clip of Steve Martin doing his most vibrant and upbeat acting. I mean, it's just, okay. Claire Danes is okay, and, uh, you know, it's... Any film that she's in, she has a certain thing that she brings to it. What, but, is, what is that thing? Is that she has presence. It's really odd, but she genuinely has screen presence. However, it's very hard to believe that she finds it that hard to get a date because she looks like Claire Danes. Jason Schwartzman is okay as the stoner character, although it's really hard to believe that he gets a date with Claire Danes. Steve Martin is just plain creepy. I mean, he just looks like a really weird, wizened, old, creepy guy who has made the moves on this girl who is young enough to be his daughter, who does drooling all over a girl who is young enough to be his daughter, whose buttocks we get to see in naked close-up for reasons which really have yet to be explained, does an awful lot of sitting on a private plane, staring at a glass of wine, and narrating the movie. Now, the reason that he narrates the movie is because his face can no longer move, and consequently, you have to have Steve telling you what's going on in his head. And so you get this voice saying, he feels unhappy as he looks out of the window. I don't like narrating in his, anyway. No, well, exactly. And believe me, you're not going to like this one anymore. He, 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 I, it's, I just don't get it with Steve Martin. He's a man who appears to have had his sense of humour completely removed. And we know that at one point he was a great, great humorist and a great musician and somebody who was really, really good in movies. Um, I thought there was something really sleazy and tacky and grim about his character. At one point, his character pays off Claire Danes' student loans. And rather than going... You're a stalker. She goes, oh, that's so sweet of you. you go, no, that's not. That's that's a money for affection transaction. How come people in this movie aren't standing up and going, stay away from the reptile character with the white hair? And the reason they're not is because the reptile character with the white hair wrote the movie.